Lincoln Dial Ride are a registered charity that provides accessible and affordable transport for the elderly and disabled. They have around 700 users and provide in the range of 2,700 passenger trips a month. However, the government's proposed changes to permits and licenses the volunteer drivers need could mean fewer people helping with the service. It basically, me, I'd have to give up driving because um, if, if they go for the um, different type of license, you know, I shan't bother um, retaking my test, you know, to, I just wouldn't bother. I'd miss the job, I'd miss the people, you know, I enjoy it, I quite enjoy it. And you, you get to know all your, your passengers, you know, and they get to know you. Like. Currently, the drivers only need a Section 19 permit, which allows them to operate minibuses in a not-for-profit basis. However, under the proposed changes, the drivers may have to have a PCV driver certificate instead, which are normally held by bus and lorry drivers. In a statement, the Transport Committee have said, Many people rely on community transport services to access healthcare, education, employment and leisure. We want to make sure that the socially valuable community transport services are protected in the long run. Some people who use Lincoln Dialer Ride spoke about the importance of having the local service. We wouldn't be without it actually. The bus station is going to be miles away. You know, and it's, it's going to be a drag to walk from there up into town. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know what we'd do. We're all getting older and that, so, you know, it's a blessing to have it taken right to a door. <laughs> It's not yet known when the inquiry will finish, but for the people who use these services, the outcome could have a big impact on their lives. Hannah Brown, LSJ Afternoon.